Hello fellow bookish friend, today we are here to right a wrong because during last month's TBR game I landed on the 5 star prediction card and I didn't know what to choose. So welcome back, I'm Melanie and today we are here to talk about the books that I think I'm gonna love, I'm gonna appreciate, I'm gonna enjoy so much that I'm gonna give them 5 stars so like let's get right into it um first of all uh, la gloire de mon père par marcel pagnol it's a french author it's a book that is set in marseille in the area of marseille during the 19 1920s 30s before marseille was too big of a city and i remember seeing the they have a movie and plays made about this story and about uh, this author and I remember re seeing them when I was younger I remember having a book um, a beautiful edition uh, that I've lost I don't know where it is in all the moving and stuff um, and I remember really enjoying that story but I never actually read it as an adult so that's one of the book I'm looking forward to read in my French classic buddy read um, series and yeah, the I really think I'm going to love seeing my city where I grew up in a different eye and in a different age with yeah a different feeling. So I can't wait. Second book is And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. I remember reading this book when I was in high school, I believe, and this story kept with me all of my life. I think it's one of the books that impacted me so much from the f I remember the feeling that I had reading that I remember the 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 <laughs> how do you say the shock w for the reveal and I would I never reread it um, since then and I would love to read it again and see how I feel about this story as a grown up uh, I feel about this story after having read a lot more murder mysteries and see if I'm still in love with all this and like see the feeling if they come up again and everything so I think I'm gonna love rereading that and yeah I can't wait so I don't know if you know but I love the roaring 20s the flappers and the emancipation of women at that time and yeah I just love the the this period of history and that's why I I have an immense love for the Diviners series by Libra Bray and the, the fourth and last book has just been released in February, The King of Crow. I've talked about it a few times here, but I just discovered last night that it is available on my Libby app. I cannot believe it. <laughs> I, I screamed in my bed when I realized that. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna add it to my March TBR, even though it's a huge read, but I just cannot wait anymore to find out what happened to those characters. And I love the atmosphere in that book and the, the social problematics that it evokes. Thank you. <laughs> um, I, yeah, and I really think I'm gonna give it five star stars. I hope so because I I already love the the other three books and I really encourage you to read them because I think it's a series that is not spoken enough on booktube and on youtube and I would love for other people to discover it and love it as much as I as I do. Speaking of the 1920s, The Great Gatsby. I remember seeing that movie in English during um, English class when I was younger in high school and the whole thing <laughs> just I didn't really get the whole thing it just went way over here but I remember loving the music the parties the dresses and so I, I really want to read The Great Gatsby it's been on my TBR for so long and going to my local uh, international library a bookstore I found this amazing beautiful copy of The Great Gatsby it's the Wordsworth edition if you're interested and I, I'm making it part of my March TBR because I cannot wait to read this and I really hope I'm gonna enjoy it and then that I'm gonna get uh, everything in there um, when I'm done I think I'm gonna make a lot of research to actually 
get in depth into these books and everything that it speaks about. And another series that has everything that I love, um, it has 1920s, it has murder mystery with a detective, and it has a female main character, and it's Miss Fisher. The first book is called Cocaine Blues. I already know about those characters and everything because I have discovered the series on Netflix and I love it. I, the main character, Miss Fisher, she uh, is a wealthy woman living in the late 20s. Uh, she is emancipated. She, uh, has, she has a hobby. She is a detective. She is loud and she is um, insistent and um, she is full of devotion for other, other women and solving crimes and I love that and so I cannot wait to read it in book format and it's set in Melbourne so it's quite different as uh, the English scene or the American scene is set in Australia and I've lived in Australia for a year and I loved it there so I, would, I think I would love to discover the atmosphere at this period in age over there so yeah, I cannot wait. I think they have it on my Libby, so that's how I'm gonna read it, I hope. And would it even be a video of mine if I wasn't talking about Brandon Sanderson? <laughs> so I have a Words of Radiance here, but I'm talking about him as in general, all of his books. I really think I'm gonna give five stars to all of his book because uh, he hasn't disappointed me yet and I love his character, I love his world building, I love the deep, complex, magical systems he invents. Uh, the characters are so multifaceted and so human. I, I really think I'm gonna enjoy all the books he puts out. I still have yet to read other non-Cosmere books such as Legion and Still Heart series. I'm, I haven't gone in depth in those other books that he made but I think I'm gonna enjoy them. I don't know if they're gonna be five stars but I'm pretty sure all the high fantasy and science fiction books that he puts out I'm gonna give five stars. And another book I think I'm gonna really enjoy is Red Seas Under Red Skies by Scott Lynch. This is the second installment in the Gentleman Bastard series. Um, I think I'm gonna love it so much that I already bought the very nice uh, 10 years edition version of it so that's how much I think I'm gonna like it. Um, I really enjoyed the first book, um, The Lies of Locomora. Um, I love the characters, the friendship with, between them and the world. Uh, it seems so big that I haven't grasped everything yet and I know I'm gonna get more in there and I know I'm gonna love it. What was that accent? I don't know. <laughs> and last but not least, uh, Cinq Semaines en Ballon by Jules Verne. Um, I think it's probably five weeks in the balloon. <laughs> I love Jules Verne. I've um, read three or four of his books so far, um, but it was maybe two or three years ago and I loved every single one of them. I love the adventure exploration part of his writing style. And so that's why I think I'm gonna I really enjoyed this one as well. It's part of my um, uh, French classic buddy read series as well. So yeah, if you want to read this one, leave me a comment and I'll bump it up the list, the list to read it soon with you. Okay, I think that's a pretty nice list that I'm gonna have. Did you get a boo boo? Not even. That is very impressive. So where was I? I think I'm gonna have enough books for a few months for that five stars prediction card. I'm not gonna get surprised by it anymore. I'm still uh, trying to get to know my taste. Uh, I haven't, I've been back into reading for a year now maybe, so my tastes are not very fine or anything, so that's why I don't have an enormous pile of five star prediction. I'm still trying to discover more of a wide uh, array of genre and then 
trying to see what I like in, the, in this genre or this genre and stuff like that. Anyway, if you have any recommendation based on this, uh, tell me if you have read those and if you have liked them or not liked them, tell me as well. I would like to know in advance what you think about it and I'll see you in another video quite soon. Bye!